How you doing, good people? This is the 8-Bit Animal. First and foremost, Merry Christmas. Secondly, um, today is a day where families come together and people celebrate with their loved ones, chosen family and given family, and, you know, exchange gifts, celebrate the, the birth of Jesus, all that good stuff. Well, some of us celebrate by watching things that we consider to be Christmas movies but a lot of other people might not and today's game is one of those films is based on one of those films rather it's based on a Christmas movie <laughs> in the most liberal of senses from 1988 the game was released in like 1992 or so and it's one of the one of the those experimental type deals that Pack in Video developed for the good folks at Activision. And I don't know, man, it's 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 weird. The star of the movie has claimed that it's not a Christmas movie. But we don't believe you. And, and we going we're going to keep celebrating this as a Christmas movie. Today we're going to take a quick look at the NES port of Die Hard. Alright, so game follows the plot of the movie really, really closely. Um, you start out with John McClane pulling up to the Nakatoma Plaza for his wife's um, holiday party. Meanwhile, terrorists have attacked the building taking hostages and they're looking for these barrel bonds and all that stuff right well McLean decides I'm gonna go get my people I'm gonna go get my old lady I'm gonna go I'm gonna get her people up out of here and I'm gonna deal with these terrorists cuz y'all messing with my people so the game is it some people may mistakenly run into this like it's a just a typical run and gun action game when in reality this is technically a stealth game a lot like Metal Gear you want to you have to kill all the terrorists but you want to do it in the quickest way possible without alerting other terrorists without uh, putting yourself in harm's way all that good stuff uh, during the course of the game, you have a health meter and a foot meter. Because remember, there were chunks of the movie where John McClane's walking around barefoot. And he steps on broken glass and all that, and his feet get kind of jacked up during the course of the movie. Well, in this game, that's a factor. And so you can collect, um, you can collect first aid kits. And the first aid kits will replenish your foot strength, your foot health. Uh, you collect soda cans. The soda gives you back your your health health. Um, you can find ammo. You can find the. You have to track down the person that has detonators for the C4 that you're gonna find. If you don't find it, then Hans Gruber's uh, people finds it. And they blow up the roof. That's not good for your ending. Um, there are a number of different endings in this game. That's another thing. It's got like five different endings. Um, there's an ending where you just don't win and Hans gets away. There's, uh, there's an ending where Hans doesn't get away, but they blow up the roof of the building. There's a built of an ending where you don't call the cops, nor do you get the detonators. Uh, there's an ending where you take out where you get the detonators, but you don't call the cops and you take like there's a bunch of different endings um, the best ending involves you calling them people and Getting the detonators so they can't blow up the roof of the building 
and the game is it feels way more complicated than it should be um the control is kind of stiff you know stuff here and there um but for what it's worth i guess it's it's a relatively fateful port of like of a game based on a film um it's a lot more fateful than the turbo graphics 16 game based on die hard that feels like a kari warriors 3 um overhead perspective you can jump and yeah it it, it feels like a kari warriors 3 in that regard um while this ain't a particularly great game uh, we haven't gotten a lot of, well, I'm lying. We have gotten a, a decent amount of Die Hard games. Because you got this, then you got Die Hard Trilogy on the, P on the PlayStation 1 and Saturn. Then you got uh, Die Hard Arcade that was done by Sega that has nothing to do with Die Hard. It just has the name Die Hard on it. It's kind of weird. But all these games have one thing in common. Them babies all started life because of a Christmas movie. Argue with your mom. Now, if you decide you want a copy of Die Hard for the NES, go ahead and emulate that. Because loose carts for this start at about $150, $160. So yeah, go ahead and emulate that. You, you don't need that in your life. That costs too much money to be... Nah, mm -mm, don't do that. Nah, do something better with your money. There's lots of things you can do. You can go buy some toys for some little kids. It's, it's Christmas time. Go go do that instead of throwing money at this game because it's ridiculous. But it's your money. You do what you want. Like I said, it's Christmas time. It's the holidays. Go buy some toys for some kids, man. That, that'll probably, that joy that those little kids will get from you buying them like some Tonka trucks and some Barbies and all that. Yeah, that, that'll probably give them a lot more joy than this game will give you. I don't care how much you want to collect it. But this has been the 8-Bit Animal. Merry Christmas once again. And I'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow. Tomorrow. Alright, Mario 2 and Metroid had a baby, and Sunsoft had to raise it. <laughs>